Do you have a perfect narrative of your past Tableau projects, locked and loaded and ready to go for when you show up to an interview? Well, if you don't, you should stick around and watch this video. Because what I'm going to cover is a framework of how to think about interviews. Then we're going to go into three tactical tips of how to tell a better narrative of your past projects. And then finally, I'm going to apply those three tips and tell you my very first Tableau project. I make weekly videos about learning Tableau and advancing your Tableau career. So please subscribe. Also, if you have any questions related to advancing your Tableau career, please leave a comment in the sections down below. I answer every single question I get. Time for some high level theory. The way I want you to think of an interview is it's a sales pitch and you're the commodity that's being sold. Oren Claff wrote a book called Pitch Anything. And in that book, he talks about frame and frame control and how you can frame up conversations. There are two main frames that apply to interviewing for a Tableau job. There is the analyst frame and the prize frame. If you're a Tableau developer, you're probably very comfortable sending in the analyst frame because the analyst frame is where you process lots of detail. So you throw out numbers and figures and intensive theoretical concepts. The interview is going to cover this. They are going to ask you technical questions to make sure that you are developed enough as a Tableau user to get the job done. But here's the kicker, and this is where you really need to pay attention. You need to develop your prize frame. The prize frame is where you sell yourself. You tap into the other person's emotions. Let me give you an example. In my very first Tableau project, we tackled demand planning, and I helped them deliver on a $250,000 optimization in their supply chain. Do you think it took them very long to process $250,000? Well, what if I framed it up as I created a series of line graphs that connected to three different data sources, and I combined them on the back end? See, you're lost. You're starting to try to process that. But if I say $250,000, that is the outcome, they're sold and you've caught their attention. So then now that you've got their attention and you've developed yourself as a prize in the scenario, you can go into the details. When you talk about your past Tableau projects, that's the time that you get to shine. You are the prize. So now that we've talked about a framework of how to think of an interview, it's a sales pitch. Let's go into three tactical tips of how to pitch more effectively. Number one, let's focus on the outcome. And by outcome, I mean dollars and cents. Did you help them develop a buyer persona that increased sales by $50,000? Number two, you should highlight your problem solving ability. So start with the outcome. You know, we helped increase the optimization by X amount. Then go into, well, we ran into this problem. For example, the data was very dirty. So we clean it up by X, Y, and Z way. And then we were able to get into tracking the KPIs. And finally, number three, you really need to reinforce the business need. I have heard horror stories of analysts and data scientists spending an unordinate amount of time on something that increases optimization by 2%. A lot of analysts feel like if they can show that they are amazing in the technical space, then that gives them job security. I don't think that's the case. You need to be focused on driving the business strategy and moving the business forward. In this final section of the video, I'm gonna have my Tableau public page pulled up. Recently, one of my students got her very first Tableau job and her hiring manager reached out to her before the interview and asked to link to her Tableau public page. The idea there is that he can go through the visits that she's created, and then when she shows up to the in-person interview, they can walk through some of the visits together. I think this is a really cool idea, so it's very important that you have a Tableau public page. So here is my very first Tableau use case, and this visualization shows our big win. We identified a $250,000 under optimization in their supply chain. Their demand planning was not going well. As you can see in orange here, the sales are very seasonal, high during the summertime and low during the wintertime, but the average inventory on hand is very flat. This is a problem. 
in this use case, this was a $250,000 problem. What this means as far as the business strategy goes, during the winter time, you're holding on to $250,000 of inventory all winter long. That money could be reinvested back into something else that would get a much higher return on investment. Either you can invest in maybe another assortment that's selling high during the winter time, or if you wanted to keep the capital within this same assortment, why don't you take that $250,000 and invest it into a research and development, development budget? Then when sales start to grow again during the springtime, who knows, you might have a new product feature that sets you apart from the market. And this peak would be even higher the next year. But that wasn't all that we did. So here's the KPI chart, just um, looking at a glance of how the business is going. And what I wanted to point out here is that they would hire an intern to turn an Excel spreadsheet into an Excel report that looks something like this. They would do this one time a year right before a product line review. The system that I created updates every two weeks. So now they're checking these KPIs 25 more times in a year. This is huge for this organization because now they can identify trends before they become major problems like we saw over here in demand planning. But in designing this system, we ran into a major problem. The data source that we were pulling from was a third-party database, and we could only pull 7,000 rows at a time. So for me to get all of this data, I had to pull four different types of data, four different instances. I had to look at assortment-level data, time series data, sales by state, and then sales by specific items. And what I did was in Tableau, I created a relationship that joined them on assortment ID. So now we can look at different assortments and how the demand planning is going for each. And you can see this on the KPI chart as well. I hope you found this video helpful. How do you prepare for an interview? Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it.